Hi everyone and welcome back to Sit In It For A Bit On A Sunday with Arne and Carlos and we're as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. So this is the podcast that we do every other Sunday uh, where we talk about everything really and you guys are the ones that are knitting so it's Sit In It For A Bit for a <laughs> yeah. reason. We started this out during the pandemic, we did it every day during lockdown, then we moved it to Wednesdays and we did it weekly every Wednesday, but nowadays it's every other Sunday. And it's actually working really good, isn't it? Yeah, because we, we're back to normal life now. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We have a life now. We do, yes. <laughs> and So we have to do it every other Sunday. Definitely. There's always things happening. Yeah, and filming every other week allows us to actually uh, do this uh, podcast without any interruptions. It's mm. been actually going since uh, January yeah. and this way, and it's worked really well. So we're very happy with the way it's going. And I think, I didn't check the calendar, but I think that um, this is going to be, it's this podcast, and then we're going to do one more in two more weeks, and then we're going to take a summer vacation, and then we'll be back um, in August again. <laughs> we need the summer vacation. We need a summer because vacation. Because we're building the extension to the house, and there's so much to clean up yeah. around the house. So we're going to be cleaning for the next uh, month after we go on vacation, or during <laughs> vacation. Anyway, um, Arne, um, I think we're going to do something. Um, we've just been to England. Yes. So we need to talk about the weather, because that's what you do in England. You yeah. talk about the weather all the time. So talk about the weather. It was warm. In the beginning, then it was raining. Just a day. One day, and then it was a little bit colder. But, you know, there's no bad weather, only bad coat choices. choices. Yes. So, it was a very nice trip, and we went with people we know, because everybody had been on tours with us before. So well, the people that were people with us, who, yes. who came with us, so that was really nice. And we saw many, many nice gardens, so we had there's so much inspiration. Mm -hmm. And like there was one thing I noticed that there was so much weed among the flowers in yeah. some gardens and I, I said to Carlos this year we should try to keep some of the weeds but you know that's also gardening I think. Yeah, yeah. I think you need a gardener to have weed in the flower beds. Oh you mean that they put the weed on purpose? No I think you have to have a plan you don't remove things if it will look stunning where it exactly, is. Exactly yeah. I guess. So we need to hire a gardener? No. No. We can no, figure that out ourselves. We have to wait ourselves. and see what happens and then if yeah. it's stunning we leave it. Yeah. So anyway, I, I thought we were going to talk about the weather. You're talking about the England oh, trip. No, no. But I don't ever talk about the weather. But my I'm point, not English. Uh, well, yeah, but listen, listen, hear me out. Hear me out. So this, is not, this, this was not my plan. So <laughs> oh, you have a plan? Yeah. I had an wow. idea. So I, <laughs> I, thought, I thought I'd lead us to talk about the weather and talk about what it looks like in Norway right now. And so I thought, you know, we've just been to England, so let's talk about the weather. Oh, I thought yeah. you'd pick up that cue. No, I didn't. And I then did. talk about the weather in England, but mostly here. But you uh, know, when we went to England, I saw that great Dixter garden. That was in my head for yeah. almost two weeks or mm. 12 days. I could not let it go. I was so inspired. Okay, I see. And that's taking, bringing us back to the weather. Because so, yeah. While we were in England, there was a heat wave in Norway, and it's been very warm. This is not normal, well, like, compared to what we normally have. Yeah. Like, when I walked Freya, there was this uh, summer, bl this flower blooming that normally blooms in midsummer. Yeah. And this is in the end of May, mm. and they are blooming now. And yeah. you went to the yeah, nursery I, today, and yeah. he said the same. It Correct, was, yeah. I went to our local nursery. Actually, um, we're so busy here that um, I had to do the errands on my own. And I actually drove uh, to a town called Dokka for the first time in my life alone. And I haven't actually, I haven't told you this, Arne, but you know how, you know how when you drive to the vet, uh, you don't get what off. Happened? Yeah, so when you drive to the vet, no, don't worry, I didn't do anything <laughs> bad. But, but you, when, when I tell you this, you're going to go, oh, typical you. So I was driving to the vet, and you know how when you, when you drive to the vet, you don't take off to the left on the first one, you take off to the left on the second one. And you take off, off on the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, 20... And how did you find the vet then? With your no. sense of direction? It could be yeah. very hard, actually. So uh, people, what you need to know is that I've lived here for 25 years. Um, I have been going to Doka <laughs> for 25 years. And sometimes he can't find his way back from the airport. 
I should, yeah, that's true. When we, I, when I should you know. Drive back home, there's seven sorry, roundabouts, yeah. and then every time you come into the roundabout, you ask, <laughs> where, I'm, where am I going out? Where am I driving out? Yeah, I have, I have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> so anyway, so I go to Dokka, and instead of going, taking off to the last, left on the second one, the second road, I take off to the left on the first row, and when I pass the gas station, that's when I realize, oh, I'm in the wrong way. The first gas station. Yeah, the first, yeah. not the one in town. The first. Then I realize, and then I start thinking, so how do I get to the vet? And then I realize there's two ways. I can go into, into the roundabout and I can go straight, or I can turn left. No, sorry, turn right in the roundabout and go past the, the Kiwi yeah. uh, and then go past the nursery and then come in. And I decided... Oh, you knew that. I knew wow. that, yeah. So I decided, to do, I decided to do that. <laughs> yeah, and what and, happened? No, no, it was fine. Oh, it was fine. And, and I got in, um, and I got in uh, to the, the vet. I was only five minutes late oh. because of this. Anyway, I did the vet stuff and then I got on the car and I drove to the nursery. Uh, and where he... is Freya? Well, no, you have to finish your story. Where is she? Is she here? She, uh, she was there. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, so the the gardener. She's at the wet. You forgot her at the wet. <gasps> no, I didn't. I did not know. Freya. Freya. She's coming. Oh, oh, oh she there she is. She was just under the table. Okay, there tell the is. story. Oh, so anyway, the vet said. The vet said. No, not the vet. The gardener said. I said to him, "Wow, we're really early this year, aren't we?" And he said, "Yeah, um, everything's blooming early." Um, and I'd say, I think, if I compare to previous years, I think we are around two to three weeks earlier than we should be. Probably. Don't you agree? I think, I think we are. Maybe yeah. a month. I, I don't know in a month. Some but yeah, in some cases. Anyway, we got, we, we, when we left for England on May 15, um, usually the ice breaks around that time. So the ice had broken. Earlier um, than normally? Also, earlier than normally. Week before. Um, and it was already, but you know, it's kind of brown season and it should still be brown season. <laughs> it's not. But it's so green. It's incredible how green it is. It's just unbelievable. And I don't know if you remember, but today, so the day we're filming is May 31st. So this is the Friday mm. and you're going to get to see this on Sunday. And I actually looked, I was looking at photos yeah. and videos. And I have a photo of you sitting in the greenhouse in May 31st, 2015, yeah. when we filmed the very first episode for a YouTube channel. And how was it outside? Brown. Brown. Yeah. Very brown. So, um, that's the normal. That's the normal, yeah. <laughs> so it's unbelievable. And tomorrow, so tomorrow we're going to do something we've never done before. And that is to film an update from our garden in late May. Early June. I mean, the first of June tomorrow. It's amazing. With Eric. He's With coming. Eric. And Eric Anna is coming. And PJ is coming. And you know, I, I find it so amazing. Like it's very strange because we went to England and we saw these flowers blooming. The Geum, for example, mm. and there's this other one. I don't remember the name. The purple. The big. The, uh, the big purple, like like uh, the tassel on the. Fox. Oh God! Yeah. What's that now? Uh, that's actually one of my favorite flowers. I don't oh. Uh, COVID but they were, but they were blooming in England, and then we were coming home. Alum. No, not that one. Uh, Alum is the purple one with the... Oh, yeah, but th this is another one. So, but uh, they were blooming in England, and you come, we came home, and they were blooming here, and that is... Oh, you mean those? Strange. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, next to the bathhouse. Yeah, okay, so not Alum. No. No. Yeah, it's so, incredible. It's incredible. But we had a great time in England. We had fabulous weather. We had afternoon tea. Uh, we visited so many gardens. It was a great trip, but it was a, a little bit of a marathon as well. Yeah. Um, we were busy all the time, uh, but very enjoyable. We always try to go to England in the middle of May um, because, the, uh, in our opinion, that's one of the nicest times to go garden-wise. Mm. So garden season. It's the beginning of the garden season, pretty much. It's I think late it's a spring. Very nice time. It's a great time, yeah. uh, and then of course you've got Chelsea Flower Show in London, which means that London is all um, decorated, all mm. all flowered up, which all uh, London's in bloom as well, pretty much. And there's a lot of events during during Chelsea Flower Show. Unfortunately, we couldn't go to London, so we only did the garden tour, yeah. and then we flew home for the to attend the confirmation of our nephew, grandnephew. 
Yeah, he's our grandnephew, but um, <laughs> it makes us sound old. So, yeah, so he's a nephew. We call him a nephew. So uh, much better. And, and we're yeah. a very warm day. And we wore our fall costumes. Yeah, very warm that day. Warm. We wore our fall costumes. That was warm, um, yeah. but we did it. Uh, and other than that, we're here, uh, I mean, dealing with all the stuff that went wrong while we were away in terms of the extension. Yeah. Not not big deal, but still um, but some they, small issues. They put on the roof while we were away, and the extension second floor has this roof all the way up. Yeah, it slopes like this. Slopes, and um, they, they ordered the complete roof. But what they didn't know was that if you order a complete complete roof, you don't get everything. Figures. No. Oh, okay. So you no. mean? Okay, no, I understand. You, you. They ordered a complete roof. No, they ordered everything you need. Everything you need for the roof. But you don't get everything you need because there are something you put under the, the metal, so it doesn't make a lot of noise when it's raining. Yeah, little mats. Like yeah, like a sound protection thing. Mm. And that is not in the package. It should be. It should be. But, but it was not. It was not. So they didn't think about that and they put on the roof. And and no, no, no. So no, um, I don't want... So this is not... We're not blaming, no, blaming no. our carpenter, our guy. No, He's great. It's the, it's the supplier's the supplier fault. The supplier who doesn't send with them. Send Like if you order the roof, you should also have right. that. Because our carpenter so. is really good. and uh, But he's never laid this particular roof before. So he didn't know that there's a mat that goes under the roof. So now we have to take up all the roof and put the mats under, which is luckily, very annoying. Luckily not on the old house because there's an attic, so you can't hear it. But on the new extension, so it's yeah. not the big job. It's not a big deal, but, but it's, it's kind very of annoying. Annoying, mm. and and then there's another thing that we discovered uh, that is very annoying because it's from an aesthetic point of view. The roof, it's a tin roof, and it's panels that go down like this. And yeah, uh, for some reason, they've cut two of the panels and, and actually added a second part, which looks awful. That it looks look so nice. ugly. But it was something with the water, because there's a lot of angles on the roof now. But, but we told them that we don't want we it like that. We can't have it like that. So they're going to redo yeah. it. But since they're going to take off the roof anyway, and we have more we have more of those metal plates, it would be fine. It would be but fine. It's a, but we you know, hoped it was finished now, so we could take the scaffold. What do you scaffolding. Call it? Scaffolding down because. Yeah, but you know, it's one of those little things. It's um, when the roof is supposed to be, the panels are supposed to be whole, and then you cut two in half, and then the other are not cut. It doesn't look nice, no. um, and I don't think the carpenter or the these people who work, I don't think they think about that. They think about the practicality. There, there's a reason why they did it, and the reason is probably correct. However, we see all the little details and we see all the things that we're then going to be because, annoyed. Uh, because uh, you, you see it from second floor. Yeah, and, you see it from everywhere, and really. And when you see it, you, will, you, you think it's, it wasn't enough. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, we, we, are, we are a nightmare to work for. <laughs> <laughs> but, and we, we, we know what we like, uh, we know how we like it, and uh, it's our way or the highway. I mean, we're paying anyway. So but, but coming back from England, seeing all these country houses and the big uh, castles, I'm <laughs> glad we don't have one of those. Thank God for that. That must be a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. like in, you never finish. That's we true, never yeah. finish this house. Yeah, and interior-wise, <laughs> um, we've done the. They've primed the upstairs. This the new studio that Arne is gonna have, has been primed, and we moved a sofa in there just to see what it looks like. It looks great. Yeah, it'd and be really nice. The paint is gonna come on probably next week. I think next week. Yeah. Um, and we chose a nice, uh, very delicate yellow. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be red. But Arne realized that he enjoyed uh, getting to that room in the morning yeah. when it's very light outside. When you, when you come in the room like around 5 o'clock in the morning now in the yeah. summer and it's yellowish because of the pan, the wood, the color on the wood. Yeah. You, you, it makes you so happy. And you I get guess... all the light in the morning. Yeah, and I think even in the winter it will make you happy. I think it will. And uh, when we talked about painting it red, we talked about the white ceiling, but then you know... After a while, we were thinking, oh, maybe we should have a red wall mm. because it will look like an envelope when you have that. Yeah. And then a red wall will be very heavy. Yeah. So we went for ye yellow. Mm. And I'm very happy that you changed your mind because I think that that red, which was very beautiful, it's from Little Green. It's called copper, no, bronze red. Mm. It's beautiful. 
But I think bronze red would look gorgeous in a hallway yeah. or in a dining room that you light by candlelight in the evenings. You know what I mean? You know it's, what this it's... means? This means we have to build another extension <laughs> in that direction. To be able to use that color, yeah. Because I, I figured out we need a doll, doll room. Mm. Oh, yeah, we do. Actually. We have too many dolls. Mm. We can't have them in... We, have to, we need the room for the dolls yeah. and the doll houses. Mm. I have to reevaluate my whole concept of my laundry room, though. Why? Because when we went to Win, we were well. Our trip in England started in Windsor, and uh, we went to see Queen Mary's Dollhouse, oh, which, yeah, by the I way, have, was have amazing. It was book. amazing, and the thing that I enjoyed the most about the Dollhouse, I mean, in addition to knowing that it has uh, running water and flushing toilets. Um, I adored the linen room. And I said to Arnett, I want a li linen room Let's as see, well. Where's the linen? I can look for the linen yeah. room. But you know, I'm getting a linen, linen room because we've got our, the laundry room. And I'm going to put shelves where I can stack all my linen. Oh, That'll yeah. be nice. We have to build more. No, 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 we don't. It's just, we just call it a linen room instead of the a laundry lin room. The linen room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stack my linen in shelves. And then I'm going to also keep vases in that room. You know, that's also going to be the flower room. It's going to be the laundry slash linen slash flower room. It's going to be the smallest room in the house, but it has three functions. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will be fabulous. But you see, now we need to build more. No, we don't. Because after seeing the, the dollhouse, I was so inspired. Yeah, but no. So I was thinking we need a dollhouse for the Barbies, but it has to be a big one mm. because it, it, those dolls are quite tall. And we need the right proportion of their heads. Yeah, but it's going to be, you know what? I thought that building this extension was going to be easy on our lives because it's an extension. It wouldn't affect our daily life because it's, you know, we wouldn't have to give up any rooms that we already have. But you know what? It's such a mess outside. Both our terraces are, I mean, full of scaffolding and it's full of saws and, and tools and, and things that I don't even know what the hell they are. There's, there's tiles, I mean, there's everything, and I'm just going crazy now because I want our outdoor space so that we can enjoy the yeah. summer, and we're not getting that, so that's very annoying. And we have a pump in the lake. We put out the pump so we can water the plants, and tonight we have to put that out and get the water in the hose so we can actually... Water one of our terraces and get rid of all the Clean the terrace sawdust. because there's so much sawdust. Yeah, the little bathhouse where Eric usually stays. We have to clean yeah, all that. And if, if you walk over there, he will, he will take all that dust with him. Yeah, and, no, no, and no. And no. it's, not, it's not sawdust from, the, from wood. It's from the tiles in the bathroom. The tiles? The tiles on the wall. Isn't that tiles? Oh, 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 because they're they're chopping the tiles down there. Yeah, and it start raining, so they had to get under a roof, and then they went down to the yeah. terrace. So yeah, it's it's a hassle. Whatever you do is a hassle. Uh, and now summer is coming. I mean, summer holidays in the beginning of July. I don't think our I don't think anything will be ready until probably August, uh, maybe end of August. Hmm. But you know, we were thinking of doing it over two years, and here we are. We started in March, and we're going to finish in August. So it's not too bad. Upstairs, I think it will be finished, maybe while we are away next week, mm. I hope. Yeah. I could not find the linen room in the Queen Mary's dollhouse. But there's all the other rooms. But this is a great inspiration for a new dollhouse. And I was thinking, I said, we saw that a nice dollhouse when we went to New Jersey and we went up to Hudson. And there was this dollhouse in a thrift store mm. or antique market. Very nice one. Which was really nice. It was very homemade, but beautiful. And I was thinking, using the, the scraps from the building mm -hmm. could be a nice dollhouse. It could. Definitely. We can have it in the other house, the storage house. I don't need a room. I have a house. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're like, oh, well, my I'm God. like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I'm like, oh, my God. I'm freaking out. I'm oh, freaking my God. Out right now. Uh, all, um, over all the things that you have in that house. Because, yeah. you know, I'm a Virgo. But yeah, th that book was lovely. It was one of the things that it was one of the things that we got um, on our trip. We did buy a lot of books actually. They're not here, but we got um, a ton of garden books. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna show some of them when we do the update on the garden, mm -hmm. which we will show maybe next Sunday. Yeah. And we're gonna film that now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So that would be. I think it would be nice to show the books we got. 
on the garden up there. Absolutely. So you can see where we got some new inspiration. From. Yeah, and we got lots of really nice books on this tour. So um, it was all in all a big, big success. Except I got a little cold and I was off for half a day. Hmm. So um, there's one day in the tour when we were supposed to go see Sudley Castle. Yeah. And I decided to stay at the hotel and have a rest because I was feeling a yeah. little bit But I bought the Ill. book for you. Thank you. And you know, I mean, we usually don't get sick. I mean, I had COVID um, in 2020. And since then, I haven't really gotten very sick. No. So this was, is probably the first time. I did have COVID a second time, by the way. But I wasn't sick from that. And then I got this cold. It was, in a, it was not a major cold, but I had um, a little bit of a throat ache. And I was mm -hmm. just... Because I'm not... Since I'm not sick very often, I get very cranky when I'm sick because I'm not yeah. used to it. And I had just... It was just a throat pain and it, it was over after a day. But you're the, actually, you're worse than me. Uh, yeah. When you get a cold, you're like dying. I'm and dying. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> and I got a little bit also because I don't think, I, I think it's the air condition because it was freezing cold sometimes in the bus. And also in the, the room. Cold the wind everywhere. And we're not used to that in Norway. Well, it was and hot in the bus in the beginning. Yeah. And then they fixed the air condition. And, and then, then it was, was freezing. freezing cold. And we didn't bring knitted sweaters, only a thin one. So. Yeah. And then all the Americans, there's a lot of Americans who travel with us. All the Americans ask for the air condition on. And we were like, oh, but it's not really hot, is no, it? But I mean, it's cold outside. We're not used to it, but I guess we're not used to people it at all. in other countries are used to it. They yeah. like it when it's cold indoors maybe and then was we, you know we stayed in rooms both in both hotels well in one of the hotels it was lovely we could open the windows but in the other hotel we needed to have some air because yeah. it was hot inside it was in Windsor so maybe maybe that's why uh, but anyway yeah we have no I mean our threshold for pain is very low unfortunately so um, <laughs> we become two very big babies when we're, we're sick sensitive. and worst case scenario we're sick at the same time it's awful yeah. if Arne is sick he goes to bed and then I just pamper him I bring him soup and I, um, yeah, I bring you soup and tea. And, and tea with yeah. the honey and lemon. Lemon, yeah. And usually you're out. I don't feel well, actually. Yeah. No, you do. You feel great. <laughs> um, then we got a lovely little gift. Oh, this one. I'm losing my mic. Okay. I'll be careful. So we got a lovely gift. This is a very cute little thing that we got from our friend Lori and her husband Christian. They're very nice people. Mm -hmm. They brought us this incredible um, and they both. got it from Gr Greg Lavoy. Lavoie. So, so it's Barbie Loves LA from Greg, um, written by Greg Lavoy. Um, and the really foreword, nice. the foreword is by Bob Mackey, who you know is a big uh, American he fashion did designer. The, the, the Cher. Dress. He did all Cher's costumes. <laughs> yeah. So that I know. anyway, um, so our friend Laurie, she got a, a used book. So. Uh, it, it's signed for Petty, and so, they had really a lot of fun. And Laurie doesn't know who he is, but he he signed it for us. Yeah, so it's to Peter. Thanks for the fun. Barbie loves Peter best. And then uh, Greg Lavoy. And then Laurie wrote, I have no idea who Peter is or what fun we had. No. So we don't know. So, it's a mystery. But then, the, the, but then Greg signed it for us as he well. He signed it for us as well. So maybe he got it back from Peter. Mm-hmm. And then, so, we got, then we got it. It's, it's a very nice book. It's and fun. It's he, fun. he wrote, Barbie loves Arne and Carlos. So glad to have met you through Laurie and knitting and Blythe. Blythe. <laughs> Enjoy, Greg Lavoy, April 2024. 20 years after uh, he signed it for that person there, Peter. He signed yeah, it for us. Yeah, that's 2004 and 24. Yeah. So, so that's um, a nice. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Greg thank you, Laurie. And Laurie. This is a nice book. And it's fantastic. And the styling uh, is phenomenal. So and I think he's a f I think he must be a famous... Uh, stylist, I think. Or designer for the films or, and stuff yeah. in America. Anyway, so, I mean, it's beautiful. So it that's is a really nice so book. beautiful. Oh, what did you lose? I lost uh, Laurie's card. Okay. Um, so that was a very nice just gift. Bring up a few other pages. It's very well styled, it's very well photographed, um, and it's, I don't know, I mean, oh God, look at this, <laughs> look at this, with a poodle, I mean, oh, come on. And then we came back from the tour and we had some packages here. Yeah. Oh, you want to show these first? Freya, where's Freya? I don't know, we got Freya. gifts. So, we got one Lika each, this, this one is yours, and... This is mine. I got 
uh, she's um, what is that? Real coordinate style. Hmm. Lika. Can you get Freya? This is from Lisa and Lila. Thank you. Arne, can you get Freya? She, she's sleeping. I know, but bring her here. Freya. Lika, do you It's a feel. Come down. So come. Say hello. Yeah. Hello. She, she was at the vets today, and she had a vaccine. Two, three weeks ago, we gave her the rabies vaccine. She had a rabies vaccine. And today she got all the other vaccine. I mean, rabies is the one that can be transmitted to humans. So, of course, she needs to have that. But today she got all the other vaccines for the diseases that can, you know, can affect dogs, but not humans. So, yeah, she's a little sleepy today. But maybe she'd rather be she's on tired. your... She, yeah, she wants to be on your lap, I think. Yeah. So, anyway, she's, uh, she's around. She's doing well. So, yeah, we got these gifts from, um, from our friend and yeah. our friend's... And uh, you've got the very nice one with the trench coat on. And you got the... Well, I got air I got Lika that works for a a but she doesn't <laughs> actually work on, in coach. She works in business class. Look at this. And I really like that. <laughs> yeah, see, look so at, that's my Look at all the stuff she has. Yeah, but look, look, look. Do you see the seats? Mm -hmm. They're the fully flat. I think they are. The, the fully <laughs> fully flat beds on business class. So yeah, she's. And we should open. We should do unboxing. I'll do an unboxing. Yeah, we haven't opened them yet. I don't know how many Lika dolls we have now, but we have a few. We do, yes. Yeah, like maybe twenty. And we're going back to Japan in October, so we'll probably bring home more. No, November. November. More Lika and more light dolls. And there's some. That's just information. Mm. Look at this one. She's cute. She's very cute. It's the one you looked at that you didn't buy, and I think our friends noticed that in Japan. Yeah, and I think there was only one also. So, I don't know. Well, so anyway, look at her. She comes with her full uniform, and then she's got her apron when she serves uh, cocktails and dinner. And then she's got her hand luggage, her uh, suitcase, <laughs> Uh, she's got a brush and even a clothes hanger. So she is very well. Um, maybe we, it's a dollhouse for Lika we have to make. And she's got shoes as well. So that's very cool. This, uh, this one had like boots, long boots. She can go horse riding. But they are very cute, these dolls. And, yeah, and we're doing a book uh, for the Japanese market uh, with the knitting. And uh, with knitting designs for them. But we haven't so started really. We started a little bit. A little bit, but it takes time. Oh, she's stuck in there. Does she have a Birkin? No, it's it, she has a bag. like a Kelly. I don't know. Or a Birkin. A little bag. Nice. Now, these dolls need a house now because we have so many of them and there's a lot of accessories. Mm. Um, you know, they can't just lie around. That's true, yeah. We have to put them somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so that, that was a very nice gift. And then we came home and... There were there a couple of deliveries. De some deliveries because we have shown you what we got from Teresa. When yeah, we went friend to Teresa. Our friend Ther Teresa, when we went to um, California. And she gave us these Pop Dolly Parton dolls. So we got, got this one with uh, the guitar, and there's another one with a guitar, and a white Elvis Presley suit, which is proper. She loves Elvis. Yeah. This and then one. Arne went and bought two more. And then I got That's this. That's a nice one. This one. She's uh, more, the, what you call that, with glitter. Yeah, and she's got a nice little thing on her hair. Yeah, a little rose in the hair. And this, this one, one is nice. And then there's a, the fourth one is from uh, the Backwood Sparby album. Yeah. Album. And this this one, I haven't even taken it out of the box because I, I'm not sure how you can do it. And I don't think we should. No, it's got so that you can hang it. You see, it's you got can, holes. Yeah, you can hang it on the wall because I think you have to open somewhere here, but I have no clue. Is it signed? No. It should have been, but hey. <laughs> How are we going to get that sign? <laughs> but look at it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this will have a nice place in the new work, 
work room, my studio. Yeah. With the dolls. I, I'm not sure if I have space for the dollhouse we have in the house. We do not. The big one? Yeah. Forget it. I have no clue where to put it now. And I'm making another We have to one. build a room for it. I think we need to build a room for the dollhouse. <laughs> Or if we, when we continue doing the other studio, maybe you can have it there. I'm gonna fix one wall at least, so I can put, so I can put things against the wall. Yeah, so. that's a very good idea. So this is the new dolls, but then oh, I have to show you something because we, on the last cruise we went on, I was knitting on an old jacket. Uh, so there's a little bit of knitting today. Because, well, there usually is a little bit yeah, of knitting. Because this jacket is from a thrift store, and I really love this jacket. The body is fine, but the sleeves are too short. So what I was doing on the one of our cruises, I started to make this sleeve longer. So I took it out, and then I picked up the stitches, and I added... I knitted more, so I did two of these. This one is, this is new, and this is the old one. And now I have decided Oops. that this doesn't work. Hmm? It Why? doesn't work. Because I'm going to take this out okay, and I'm but going tell to me, start uh, over again. I need an explanation. Why doesn't it work? Because this, this part should be all the way. That would be much nicer. So this part, this design? This design should go all the way up to there. Oh, so you're taking this out. I'm taking this out. Well, yeah, I know you're taking that this out. This I can't take out because it's sewn. I oh, okay, so you're going to put this design up there. Yes, I'm going to make a total ah, new sleeve. Okay. And I'm yeah, you actually, I think, you I'm know... I'm going to do this pattern up to there, and then this comes, because this was a little bit too much. And it makes sense what you're saying, actually. I, I agree. Yeah, and also, since this is uh, sewn together and this is knitted on the round, it's a little bit bulky. Mm -hmm and heavy under the arm. Yeah, so you're going to make it a little, a little um, narrower. Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. start over again. Maybe yeah. this is my project when we go on the cruise. When is the next cruise? In oh, August. In August. Mm -hmm. <coughs> New project. Yeah. There you have it. There you have new it. New projects. Every and day is something new to do. And I actually, I tried with yarn. I think I... I was lucky on the third time I went to the stores on the cruise in different yarn stores and looked for the green. And on the third place, I found one I could use. Mm. And now I have to see if I can find more of this color. Mm. Fingers crossed. If not, I maybe I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Whatever. It's a old jacket and I'm fixing it so I can use it. Mm -hmm. So, so that's very nice. That was a lot of knitting for nothing. <laughs> but you love knitting, so it's okay. <laughs> no, I mean, it doesn't it's, matter because I think it's fun anyway. It's never so. for nothing huh? when you love knitting so much as you do. So, so I, had, I never had problems with unraveling. So why did you bring out the, uh, the, the hat? Be because we got yarn. Oh from, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We got this yarn from Stephanie in... Um, uh, Uncommon Threads Uncommon in Threads Los Altos. In Los Altos. And it's very nice. It's called sea salt. It's uh, Valhalla yarns. It sounds like it's from yeah. Iceland. So what is the? Let's see, Valhalla yarns. It's um, Cormo mm -hmm. alpaca. What is Cormo? I think a cow. No, sorry. A cow. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> a sheep. Sorry, I, I, I meant a sheep. <laughs> it's a sheep. <laughs> I think it's a sheep breed. <laughs> oh, it Whoops, sorry. something very exotic. So it's a uh, it's, uh, wool. Cor co co cow. It's like a, sorry, the Cormo cow. The Cormo cow. Yeah. Uh, Can we record this again? No. It's so embarrassing. No. Oh. So the sheep, yeah. So it's it's wool and alpaca. And it's actually very lovely. She she told us that we could pick the colorway, couldn't we? No, she gave it to us. She picked the colorway herself. She picked it herself, and I like it. I like the colorway too. And then I was thinking... We have this hat we made it many years ago now, a few years ago. It's 50 grams, so it should be Maybe enough. Maybe it's enough. We could do this hat in mm. that yarn. This has the cable and it's knitted so when you, it's knitted like, like this, so when you fold it up, the cable continue. Mm -hmm. up. It's very cool, yeah. So when did we do this one? Oh, we did this, I think it was 
Oh, yeah, I remember. We shot it just before I went to the hospital for uh, my treatments against uh, COVID. Oh, yeah, that was in... Well, you needed it, actually. 2021 yeah. in January, yeah. when I was at the lung hospital. I think it came out nice that the cable comes the right it way. It does, yeah. But it's knitted... Um, I think it was knitted uh, from the from the inside, which is now the inside. Mm -hmm. And then when the rib was finished, we turned it inside out so we could do the inside no then yeah. the inside became the outside yeah you changed the direction because then the... when you fold it up yeah you see if it's down that's the back of the mm -hmm. and you fold it up it's the right side and now uh, this will be nice to i do think this color will be that good. and this color perfect this can be your project on mm -hmm. the next next cruise and i can work on the jacket yeah and if you're I interested started the, the rib and if you're interested in the pattern, you can get it at arnicarlos.com. Uh, this one, not yeah. the jacket. The jacket is old. No, the jacket's old. You can't get that. But that, but that hat you can get uh, the pattern for at arnicarlos.com mm. uh, in our web shop. And uh, yeah, we're going to knit it, or Arne is going to knit it in that colorway. Mm. That'll be but, nice. Uh, Bent uh, from the Netherlands came on this cruise. And on our cruise in March. In yeah. March. And she liked the jacket. And... If you'll see this bent, I think you did a really good job. Absolutely. Because you took a picture of it and you Got just, the yarn. just made, a, made a drawing of the pattern and just a few weeks And later, then she bought the same yarn as you did, later. didn't she? I, I'm not sure which yarn she She must bought. have bought it in Norway. You bought it at that time too, I yeah. think. So she probably bought the yarn in Norway and she's she made a, a great job. She's a very good knitter. Very good. And I like the fact that she's also very young. It's mm. nice to see some young people... Uh, being so good at knitting is incredible. I mean, she's she's in yeah. her 20s. So I mean, and I told her how we do knitting without pattern, like for the volume, and she... Figured it out. She did it ex very nice. Very, very talented. It fitted her perfectly. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. She sent the picture. We have she the did, picture yes. Somewhere. we Yeah, and I think I replied to her that it looked mm -hmm. beautiful. But we have two of these jackets. We have another one in blue, which we also should fix. Yeah, we should fix both so of them. Should, we should clean up a little bit. Yeah, in all due time, we will. Uh, but uh, then, uh, like, talking about dolls, we have more. Yeah. Because our Flatsy, she got a friend from America. So this is our Flatsy that we found in uh, Trondheim. And Joanne, our traveling friend, our good friend, she made... a. Uh, what do you call these trousers? Panties, Panties, I guess. and a flat dress. So now she has a nice dress. She has a nice her. dress because the other dress was not for a flat doll. So we put that dress on this girl. But she, this is too short. Luckily, she, luckily she also had undies. Panties. Yeah. Panties. <laughs> so she can wear this one as yeah. a top. She's in a little bit of trouble, but we're getting some rem some something to remove the I removed the damage. Most, most of it, but there's still something here. Yeah, the lips are a little bit uh, off, so we need to uh, we need to remove some uh, mm -hmm. some of the lips. And and somebody's get, getting us uh, gave us some tips of what we should yeah. get to. Um, so to this do doll that. was called Sjörven in Norway when I grew up, and it says Ratti. From, made in Italy. Mm. So it's an Italian doll, but it was called Sjörven. But then, Flatsy, she got... A friend. A friend. Her niece, Flat Lisa, was it? Is, is, oh, so Flatsy's friend is Flat Lisa? This one, her yeah. American cousin. Yeah. Look. <laughs> so you've got the... Uh... <laughs> from Joanne, thank you, yeah, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. And nice outfit. And a very pretty flat outfit. Yeah. Uh, you did with, a really good job. With a little, on those with a little underpants dresses. as well. So they're very, they're very proper now. And these what two I girls. find funny with this doll is that you actually make the clothes flat. flat. Of course. It's like if you, uh, I've seen people if they never done trousers before and they want to do a trouser and they just put the fabric on the floor and they lay down and then you make <laughs> you make a drawing around your feet. There's no crotch, nothing. It's just flat, and then you sew them together and you try to get into it. You can't. You can't. There's but she can. But she can. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. You can actually make flat clothes. Completely flat. <laughs> so that was um, really fun. So thank you, John. I, mm -hmm. I love this, this one. Yeah. So And nice dresses. Yeah. So this is nice. And she can use this one as a top. Yeah. Oh, now you see me. Now you don't. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> See, 
Okay. I'm and we have uh, we have the, the you know usually when we started our podcast, sit in it for a bit during the pandemic. It was actually a recap of our life and things that were going on in our life. It's never really been a knitting podcast uh, at all. The name sit in it for a bit is more you know what you guys do as we usually always say. It's like. You you can sit and knit or do whatever, well, we tell you and stories. we tell you stories. And, boy, and that's how we came through COVID yeah. lockdown because we had someone to exactly. Talk to. But boy, do we have a story for you this week? Um, this because is something. We're kind of back to storytelling the way we did during the pandemic, and this story is really really good. So you may want to you know readjust yourself, uh, make yourselves comfortable, and um, and here we go. Yeah. So um, we have mentioned before the pennsylvania rose we've talked about that a lot we and it actually so how was the story again arne it was this uh, guy who came to valdres and he had spent time in america and he came back to norway in the ni- 1900s and there's this written about him in this book it's called norwegian barns and it's kind of a play on Norwegian laws because lover and lover is the same word. Yeah. Because no, I've written different, but you it's with a it. love as a law is with an O, yeah. and love, love as a barn is. Uh, so this is kind of fun. And in this book, you have the Valdres rose. So this rose was used as decoration, or is still used as decorations on the barns in this area, and. I think he, he lived somewhere in Kansas and he was inspired by the Amish people and he went to yeah went to Wisconsin he's been many places but but yeah. the inspiration for this is from this barn and this is from Pennsylvania mm. these kind of barns yeah and this this was uh, they says this started about 1830. So mm. in 1900, it came to Norway and to this area, which is yeah. probably the only area in Norway where they put that rose on the barn. Yeah, and the area we live in is called the it's called Valdres. So in Norway, this is known as a Valdres rose. So the Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania rose from 1830 eventually came here and is now called the Valdres Rose. Yeah. And we've been looking for one actively for a while. Uh, we didn't say his name, did we? So his name was Erik Eriksson. Yeah. So he was a Norwegian <laughs> or he was a Scandinavian? <laughs> Norwegian. Norwegian, yeah. uh, living in America. Yeah, and came back And to coming Norway. back here. And then he brought with him the rose. And, we and anyway, we wanted a rose. Uh, we wanted a rose. Arne wants to put it up in the... Uh, in the you call that oh. yeah the top of the you know where those roof slopes uh, he wants over to the window up in the thing we call yeah. it Mön up yeah. there and we finally found it yeah, uh, so and we're gonna tell you the story of how we found it and what we had to do to get it so we got this one mm-hmm this one is 45 centimeters in the di- 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 diameter diameters so I think this is good for our roof or wall if it's not big enough we can get another one which is uh, 60 centimeters in diameter and we have them here because we bought two for our niece on special order she needs two for her greenhouse yeah she is actually making a very nice greenhouse now and she's going to put two of these yeah so that you see up under the roof and use them as ventilation look you can put your face look look you can put your face (laughs) don't put your head in there put your head in there (laughs) no oh come on maybe i have to sew you out Oh, there you go. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so this is the one of the worst. There's many different roses. Yeah. But they're beautiful. They are. So so in order to get this, we had to go to jail. <laughs> and that I mean literally literally speaking, we went to jail yesterday. Yeah. But not really. No, I mean we were not arrested. We're not criminals. Um But we felt a little bit uh, But we felt criminal. Nervous because so, So the story is that Arne has been looking for this actively and at one point, so they're made by the prisoners of the jail here in Valdres. And before um, there was what they called an honesty market where you could, you know, take one and, and... and then he texts the money to the um, to the jail system. Yeah, because they in that market they had these and they had bird houses and yeah. bird feeders and different things that the prisoners are making in the workshop. Mm-hmm. 
but no longer. No, the, and... the, this market is gone. So after thinking about it and talking about it, and then his knees started nagging, not nagging, but she started talking about it too, and she wouldn't stop. So we realized that, okay, we have to do something now. So Arnett decided to call the prison. Yeah, so I called them and I said, um, are you still making those roses? Because I, I, my niece need two and we need one. And can I go, where can I buy them? And she said, you can come to the prison. And I said, is that possible? Because do I have to take a boat? Yeah, because it's, it's on a little island it's in a, the it's fjord. It's an island in, in the fjord. <laughs> and she said, no, we have a bridge and it's still working. <laughs> it's old, but yeah. you can still come with a car. <laughs> and so, so, so I said, OK, well, let's go to the prison. And so we drive and it's a it's a 40 minute drive. And uh, <laughs> when we're almost there, I say to Arne, gee, this is so it was, unfamiliar for me. I, I mean, it up. I've lived 25 years here and I've never been to this area or to this place. And I said, well, sign. that's a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> You've never been to so, the prison. <laughs> we've never been to the prison. So, um, so as we approach the prison, I start getting very nervous because I'm thinking, what is this place going to be? Is it going to be like a... Is, are there going to be walls and barbed like wire they open up these gates and all and that? They, and they open up in. gates to let us in. So we, <laughs> we drive up. Uh, when we get to the island, we cross the bridge. And when we arrive on the other side of the bridge, it has a sign. It says uh, the prison. The prison. And you should and no, press the button. To yeah, no, it says the prison. And then it says uh, uh, no no trespassing. And then it says uh, people with an errand should ring the bell yeah. or click on the intercom. So we drove up to the bell and then there was a big poster over the bell. And it says the bell is not working. So we're <laughs> so like... like Okay, what let's do, just go in What there. do we do now? So Arna just drives up. And I'm, I'm a little bit nervous because... And then we don't see these walls. We don't see any gates. We don't see anything. And now we're in the middle of the island. In and, the prison. And, and I say to Arna, I'm feeling very uncomfortable here. I want to stay in the car. Yeah, uh, and I'm probably going to lock the and doors. And I said, to, it's better you stay in the car because you could be arrested. For what? For being stunning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so anyway, I stayed in the car. Oh, so you were not arrested? I no. stayed in the car. Arne went in. I think I must have waited for something like 20, 25 minutes. It took minutes. a while. Because... It took a while. And I was not very comfortable. And there, suddenly I see these two policemen coming out of a barn. And there's other people with them. And I'm wondering, so if they don't have a uniform, are they prisoners or are they maybe undercover policemen? Now they're looking at me. Why are they looking at me? I'm because not. I'm not. Stunning, I'm not they? there to 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 do time. I'm here to buy. Well, actually, you're here to buy a rose, and I just came along. So I get all 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 weird, yeah. and I okay. So I'm thinking, what's my story if they talk to me? But the guys, they just passed. Then there comes another guy in. You know, he had a, a, a chef's uniform. And uh, he was emptying the trash. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe he's a prisoner. Um, should I lock the doors? <laughs> and then I Googled the prison. It's a low security prison. No, they're not dangerous. And usually it is for people who are actually soon going to be admitted back into society. So it's not a big deal. But ap apparently there's no walls. And they're roaming around freely on this island. And it says that it's all camera. So I'm yeah. like, what do I do now? Um, and then I just... Yeah, I got I got very uncomfortable. Now you can tell the story no, no, inside. Like then when we left, I was thinking like, why don't they search the car? Maybe we picked up someone and <laughs> took them with us. It doesn't work that way. No, it in doesn't Norway. work that. So then I went into the office, and then it was more like a prison. I I had to ring the bell, and there was this glass window. Oh, really? Yeah, and then wow. finally this guy came out, and he, I said. I talked to a girl here and I'm here to buy some rose, the Valdres rose, this one. And then he, he said, who, who did you talk to? And I said, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, how awful. <laughs> she didn't tell me or I forgot her name or something. So then he just went to find another one and she had no clue. And then who I had talked to and then she took me into a barn and we went up to this barn where they had the workshop. Oh no, they had products on display. There were the rows, there were like bird houses, there was this uh, this wooden thing <laughs> that you put on, we have this in, in the winter in Norway called spark. It's like you hold on to it and then you... Yeah, yeah, to... to and then you 
kick like this and you go quick on the snow and yeah it's like a sled, sled but, but you stand on the sled and then you it. kick with but one on, leg on those sleds you could put this little wooden thing that you put your baby in mm -hmm. oh nice yeah we had Very we nice. have one at home because all me and my brother and sister we were put in these things in the winter with mm. with the fur like sheep fur around us so you were very mm. warm in that and then you they went shopping with mm. us or we went you're digressing sleep. now so anyway no, they left I, you alone where did i go yeah and then <laughs> i went up to the barn and they had um, they had they had these two 60 centimeter diameters the big ones and i wanted to have the, the small one but they didn't have it and then she said you just wait here and i go to the go and ask the people who make them if they have that mm. size and she went and i was alone in the barn in the prison <laughs> and i was thinking oh my god oh what, a, what <laughs> how can this happen like <laughs> it was kind of scary mm. and i would it was like old barn so maybe it was it, it has been a barn once and yeah. there was just me and the rose and i was waiting yeah, and while I was I in was the waiting. car freaking out. You and know then what she I came back and she said that the people here she talked to didn't know because I don't think she went to the prisoners who actually made them. She went back to the office, I think, because she said that she didn't. She had to go to another place. And, and then she left she, you alone again. No, then she took me down oh, good, to good. the reception again. So I was waiting. And then she came with this one. It was fresh from... Mm. Oh, newly made. Newly made. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm, meanwhile, I'm sitting in the car thinking, I hope nobody I know sees me sitting in the car because they're wondering, what am I doing sitting in a car? Uh, am I waiting for Arne probably? And why am I waiting for Arne in the prison? I mean, it was all very weird. Um, and I mean, it was. I was surprised that it's that you could just drive up to the prison and there's no walls, and there's no gates. And it was no nice. Gates. It was a really nice place. Very nice, yeah. It's nice. an island on the yeah. fjord. I mean, I go there for a vacation. I mean, no, because it's a prison. But if it were not a prison, it would make a beautiful uh, venue for, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I've mean, probably been a farm once because beautiful. the barn. Beautiful, yeah. So, but that, that was really nice. And um, you guys might think it's uh, weird that we have a prison here that doesn't have any fences. It doesn't have any walls uh, and people are not really locked in. But... Um, I mean, what I know for a fact is that Norway has uh, one of the lowest rates for, for recurring. I mean, for criminals to go back to jail. It's but about, I think it it's about twenty percent. Uh, yeah. uh, it's very happened? low. What happened if you sneak out? What if you jump I think in the get water in and you swim? You don't away? have to. That's the thing. You don't even have to jump in the water. You, you can just walk, walk out. Die. But they don't do it. I think yeah. that they. If you do it, you go back to normal prison. And right. That's probably yeah. not so fun. But Norway really has a very low ra rate when it comes to rehabilitating criminals in Norway. They're rehabilitated in a way that I, they actually don't commit crimes afterwards. And I think it's well, the, ra the rate. Th yeah, that's what they try to do. Mm. And the rate is like it's under 20 percent, I think, um, of people who commit a crime. Uh, only 20 percent will commit a new one later. And most people will actually rehabilitate mm. and become normal citizens again. And Norway is actually very well known for its prison system and the way that we deal with prisoners and the way we treat people. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it was it was an experience but going it, it to. It was a bit scary, actually. I have to say. Well, because you felt you were in uh, an area where you actually shouldn't be. Yeah. But you can go there and buy roses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have a little honesty market outside of the prison as well. So you can actually, you don't have to drive like we did. No, but that's for plants because they right. also have the best plants. And I think they have that in the nearest city. Mm. They normally have that market. Yeah. And we, you normally we buy the tomato plants there and other vegetables because I think their plants are the best. They have very high quality. Very, very plants. good. Yeah. And it's an honesty market. So you just... Um, well, I'm sure there's a video camera there too. No, you don't pay. No, there's no camera. <laughs> Well, there's cameras everywhere on the prison island. Yeah, in the island, but yeah. not, not in the center of the city where they have the honesty market. Anyway, it was very interesting. Uh, it was a very interesting thing to see. Uh, it's the only prison we have in our county, and our county is huge. There's one prison, and uh, I actually Googled a little bit more, mm -hmm. and I found out that this prison only has space for 25 men. Yeah. So, can you believe it? 25 men 
on a beautiful island. <laughs> making roses. Making roses, birdhouses, and gardening. And tomato plants. And, <laughs> and tomato plants. And uh, they're not even locked in. But 25, I mean, that's nothing. I mean, the island was really nice and yeah. big. I mean, no, really, if there was a good hotel there, I would definitely consider staying there because it was beautiful. It was beautiful. So yeah, uh, go figure. Uh, and yet we have that uh, that statistic here in Norway, which I find interesting. How the Norwegian system. But they did a really nice job. They did a great job, yeah. Uh, and, and then when I Google a little bit more, I, I saw that sometimes people from other country, police, and you know justice systems systems from other countries, they come to Norway to study the way they do the they treat the criminals here. So apparently. It's, you know, we're famous for that. I don't so. think you can be a criminal after doing those beautiful roses. No, no, no. It's just hearts. Yeah, exactly. It's so cute. <laughs> well, how many hearts is there? It's like... Four hearts. Five hearts. Oh, yeah. There's, and then there's little ones in... Yeah. And, yeah, and the small ones. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, so there we are. We, we, we had to go to jail for this. Uh, or to prison for this. But uh, now we have the road. And uh, yeah, and that's our little story. How long did we stay in the prison? It was like 25 minutes or something. I never got off the car. Uh, <laughs> I had my own uh, adventure in the car. You had your adventure walking around yeah. there. And you know, I, I had to try to text my, my niece, but she was in the meeting. So she sent me the number to her husband and she sent me the wrong number. So. I, I had to get the number number right again because I never called him before, and then I had to call him because that was quicker. Because yeah, I just had to see if this was the size they wanted, yeah. and it was. So I think they will be very happy with the new yeah. greenhouse because this will be a nice um, and ventilation Arne, system. I'm telling you one thing: if our <laughs> rose is too small, we are not going back to change it. You know, you bought it; that's the way it's going to be. I think, do you I think, want to go I back? I think I'm going to go back and get another one then. Oh my God. Then I can give this away. Well, I'm not going If with it's you. too small. I have to go with you. I'm afraid that you won't come back. Yeah. But you know, I don't want to climb up there because it's so high. So we have to wait for the carpenter so he, he, can, he can do it because he's not afraid of heights. Oh, so, and he's going to get up there anyway because he needs mm. to change the roof. So. Yeah, but I tried it on the wall on the inside mm. because I could st st get up there. And it looks nice with 45 centimeters. Yeah. So, Arne, we do need to go get that greenhouse in order. Um, I've got my sheets to iron, so I'm bringing out the rotary iron uh, that we yeah. you, that I love so much. I'm going to be doing that for like half an hour. Then I'm going to come out and help you. We're going to do a little barbecue tonight. And we're getting ready for uh, recording. Filming. So tomorrow we will do some uh, new films for you guys uh, with Anna, Eric, and PJ. And we're very excited about that. And we can't wait to show you what um, what we're going to do. Um, and keep your eyes peeled because there's an update from the garden coming uh, next week. So we'll be back next week with that. Yeah. So Arne, how about some formalities? So uh, if you like our videos, put your thumbs up and put on the notifications. Wants if to come you're up. a subscriber, no, she wants to come. Now she wants to come. Mm, and now she don't want to come. <laughs> Okay, stop. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Start again. And if you want to be a member, you can also be a member and then you get some extra content, which we're also going to film this weekend. We're going to yeah. do some food and yeah, for, the, for yeah. the members. We're doing uh, some food episodes, yeah. cooking episodes for our members. And there's always additional content for, for the member in the members area. And if you're interested in joining, just do uh, check out the Arne and Carlos uh, YouTube channel. And next to the subscribe button, you have a join button. Yes. And we will be back with uh, the update from the garden. And then we'll be back with another sit in it for a bit before we take a vacation. And in July, we're going to be cleaning uh, the outdoor area of our house, which is a mess right now. Yes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And how's Freya doing now? She's been acting a little weird. That's why I've no, been, I've been concerned. No, but, I think, but she's always like this when she comes from the wet. Yeah, she gets that. Yeah, and she got a vaccine today and she's not really feeling, uh, she's not feeling it. That, no. She's not having it. She hated the vaccine. <laughs> she growled. So yeah, so I'm very concerned about her. I just want to monitor her all the time. And she's been under the table. Um, I, I said I tried to get her out to take a walk, and then she ran into her. Little yeah, room. she's not. It, she's not having a good day. No. But tomorrow will be a great day because she'll she'll have forgotten all about yeah, the vets and, we and have the vaccine. Eric, PJ, and Anna coming, so she will be 
over the moon. She loves them. She loves people. She does. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.